So if you've watched Media Mementos up to this point, you definitely don't know that, or at least probably don't know, that I'm a massive fan of the Muppets. And if you've roamed around the Discord server, you've probably heard me go on and on about the characters and the Jim Henson company as a whole, as well as, you know, a lot of the Muppet movies and TV shows and what I love and what I don't particularly like. But I was really thinking about my Muppets kick again after watching the newest special, Muppets Haunted Mansion. Honestly, wasn't expecting much from this, just being another one of them lame crossovers of, oh, look at us, we're doing it. But instead, I actually got something that really was a decent throwback to the old Muppet TV specials from back in the day. And not just, you know, the stuff like Hey Cinderella or Tommy's Just for Men. Stuff like a, a better, more competent version of Muppet's Wizard of Oz. Even though that one was already a TV film, so I could kind of excuse that film's rather lackluster quality. But... Hey, you know what? I really enjoyed it for what it was, and it also got me thinking again. This has been a long journey, and it finally paid off for these guys. What do I mean exactly? Well, for many years, there had been talks and ideas and spitballs all regarding a Halloween or haunted parody-themed special or movie involving the Muppets. And you'd be surprised at how far back this traces, too. So... For this last cap off of the spooky season of Media Mementos, because the Patreon raffle review this weekend is not consistent with the theme, I'll be looking at the weird, tedious journey that led to the Muppets Haunted Mansion. For starters, let's go all the way back to the 1970s. Oh yeah, oh yeah, we're going that far back. You see, Jim Henson was still tossing around ideas and pilots and pitches for the initial Muppet show. The CBS pitch reel, the sex and violence pilot, which is not very good, and the Muppet Valentine Show pilot, which is uh, it's slightly better, but eh, not by much. But predating even those, there was another idea that Jim Henson had called the Muppet Halloween Show. This was a proposed special that eventually evolved into what I would assume would be the Muppet Valentine Show. And this was a really weird idea involving some doctor who's trying to solve a pollution problem with his weird contraptions and having the aid of Muppet friends. It definitely seems like a fun idea, but I don't really see how much longevity this would have had, which I'm assuming is why it was tossed pretty quickly. It makes sense though. I mean, think about that. There's probably a lot of other pilot ideas that we don't know about in regards to the original Muppet show. That's all I can say about that one, and that's all we really know other than this handful of concept art and this little brief synopsis that I'm not going to read for time. In the early 1990s, a year after Jim Henson's death, there was talk from Brian Henson and other news reporters that the Muppets were going to slowly make their return to TV, you know, once people recover. And one of these initial projects was a Halloween special. This was one of the main things that the Jim Henson company wanted to accomplish post Henson's death. However, no real plot or title or working title or anything of sorts was announced until around the mid 1990s. A Halloween special turned feature film written by Kirk Thatcher was announced around this time. This involved the Muppets going on a beach vacation only for Dr. Bunsen to announce that his uncle had passed away. Muppets then accompany Bunsen to Transylvania, where they meet the butler, Surly, who was expected to be a human cameo from someone like Michael Caine. It is then known that Bunsen's uncle had been working on an experiment that would create pure goodness. Using the Muppets as test subjects, the essence turned into pure badness, causing the crew to turn into the classic Universal monsters. Only Robin and a couple others survived the experiment, and it's up to him to save the crew. This was definitely something that Kirk Thatcher truly believed in and even had all these crazy names for all the characters. My personal favorites include Rizzo as the Hunch Rat of Notre Dame and Clifford, if you even remember who the hell he was, as, get this, the creature from the African American Lagoon. Fun. While this would have been a very interesting special, this unfortunately never took off and was eventually used for the 2000 video game Muppet Monster Adventure. And another 2000s game, a pinball machine titled The Muppets Haunted House Adventure, was also proposed, but unfortunately never released. 1999. The Muppets, A Haunting We Will Go, was a proposed film written by Jim Lewis and Kirk Thatcher, again, where the Muppets, save for Miss Piggy, turn into ghosts after a bookshelf falls on them. As a result, they have to go to military haunting school. Meanwhile, Piggy is targeted by a southern gentleman who believes she is the reincarnation of his late wife. This honestly does sound like a lot of fun as well, being a possibly great satire on military movies, but with a supernatural edge. 
and you know the whole deal with the guy thinking Miss Piggy is literally the incarnation of his wife I am not too sure but I mean you can thank Eddie Murphy for ripping it off in the Haunted Mansion movie he was in um yeah I interesting I, I know that's all we know about that one as well and you know, it's glad that we actually had a name. You could thank Jim Lewis for that. He actually did showcase it in a Zoom interview at one point, so that's that's pretty cool. 2000. Uncle Deadly's House of Badness was a proposed Goosebumps-style anthology series hosted by the titular character, Uncle Deadly. Unfortunately, this is all we know about this one either. You see, a problem with all these Muppet Halloween specials is that there really isn't much to go off of other than the basic synopsis, which really shows just how much spitballing there is with these kind of Muppet projects. And trust me, that like, just these small ounces of the Halloween specials alone is really just scratching the surface for all the insane ideas but let's not get into them right now unless you guys really like to hear me ramble about this crap 2007 the muppets halloween show an idea about the muppets putting on a halloween show in new york city and that's it i mean it sounds like a cute idea but i don't know it seems like they can't really do much with it other than just recycle old muppet show segments and you know as we talked about in the new adams family review Rehashing and remaking old comedy skits or episodes or anything will probably not do you very well. So I'm glad they didn't do this. 2009-2010 was a pretty interesting year for the Muppets as there were quite a few ideas that were announced, but just never done. These include the Muppet Motion comics based on the Boom Kids series of comics with the Muppets, the Muppet Show Season 4 DVD box set that never came out because of licensing, as well as this one. An untitled Muppets Halloween special announced at the Disney Hollywood Studios. However, only a small promotional teaser image and a Q&A regarding the project exist and was delayed from 2009 to 2010. It was put on hold in order to focus on the 2011 theatrical film, which is the reason why a lot of Muppet projects didn't really get off the ground at the time. Mostly because, well, of course they wanted to focus on that movie. We don't really know much about it, but I can assume it was just another one of them goofy Halloween, let's have a good time deals. Then we're here at 2021. After a lot of years of spitballing and production setbacks and all that stuff, the Muppets Haunted Mansion was greenlit in late 2019 and was set to begin production around early 2020. You know what happened after this, guys. I'm not even gonna say it. And thanks to the setback, we might have actually never seen this, but no. They pressed on. They fought against it. They shortened the thing from a 90 minute special to a 50 minute special. They got all the crew back. They got a good amount of celebrity cameos and they even brought back Johnny Fiamma and Sal. If you don't know who those are, well, they're one of the greatest new Muppet editions in Muppets Tonight. The show's great, you should really give it a watch. I kinda wanna talk about that someday. We'll find out, we'll see. But this was just a fun little retrospective that I wanted to do leading up to this recent special. I know it's not necessarily based on any opinions or anything, just me basically talking about all these random spitball ideas that eventually led to one thing to another, but I thought I'd just do something fun. Just talking about my love of the Muppets in a way that won't really anger anybody or just say, Oh, come on, you're wrong on this thing. But yeah, that's just what I wanted to do. Some fun. Uh, I like to think that Patreon producers, Leaf Razor, Reziel, Sophie Burgers, Tanner Kapischke, and me boy Azarius. If you would also like your names right at the end of every Media Mementos video, then please consider donating to the Patreon. Link is in the description below, and get ready for this weekend. And I hope you enjoyed Spooky Month, because we're just going to be talking about a sci-fi movie. Well, I mean, I guess it could be considered spooky. I mean, you know, sci-fi did emerge from horror after all, so... Eh, we'll see.